Hi, I'm Guy Robertson from Guy Robertson Horsemanship. And today I'm going to be working with Rachel Roberts. She's here on one of our training weeks. And we're going to be looking at my log circle. Thank you for watching. Um, this is a three-year-old quarter horse. His name's um, Blaze. He belongs to me. I've probably had him about since early last year. And we didn't do much to him as a two-year-old. We just kind of turned him away. And just handled his feet a little bit and this year we brought him in at the beginning of the year in March and I, I saddled him for the first time and the kind of plan with him is to do some western competition, maybe do some, some, um, some cowboy dressage with him or do some, you know, just, just general stuff. I like doing a lot of cow working with him and that's something that we're setting up a little bit at the moment. Okay, so this is Rachel Roberts. Rachel's um, staying with us this week on one of our training weeks. Um, on our training weeks, we ride twice a day with our horses in the morning and in the afternoon, and we uh, will work on a number of different things. Well, this afternoon, we're going to have a look at working in on this particular obstacle, which is my log circle obstacle. And what we've got up set up here is we've got 12 logs set up around the arena. If you imagine it as a clock face at the five five minute marks. In the centre we've got a big electrical spindle uh, that's about two metres in diameter so if you imagine walking around the outside of it you're sort of tracking something around a three metre circle. Okay Rachel, we'll, we'll, we'll kind of introduce this exercise now for you to, the, um, to work on. I, I really like this exercise because there's four different distinct things that I can work on with it. It really helps me improve my horse's circles, but I, I think it helps me as much as my horse in terms of riding a nice circle. So the first thing we're going to work on here is we're going to work on just getting our horses to track around the outside of these poles. Okay, So the end of these poles are set at 20 meters from the center of that electrical spindle. So if I'm riding around the outside here, I'm essentially I'm riding a 20 meter circle. Okay. Now what I'm looking to do when I'm riding this circle is I'm looking about two poles ahead all the time. And what that does is it helps me get my, my body into position, my inside leg slightly back here, my inside rein slightly back just to create a little bit of an arc with him. And I'm just kind of riding from one, from one post to another post, giving him sort of a series of checkpoints of places I want him to check in at. Okay, So I want him to check in at the end of every pole. So I'm not going to be getting into a situation where I'm kind of half out here in the undergrowth and not realizing it like I might if I was just riding a circle normally. Sometimes it's a bit like swimming in the sea. You start to, to lose track of where you are. You kind of go, well, I kind of started over there and I'm all the way over here. You know, it really helps me as a rider maintain some accuracy. It really helps my horses sort of engage in this exercise. They can go, yeah, I've got to get to there, then I've got to get to there, then I've got to get to there. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so what I'd like for you to do is I'd just like you to start to walk around the outside and I want you just to just to build that up into the trot, okay? And just see, if, I want you to feel like your horse is really trying to make that circle, like you're hardly having to hold her in it at all. Great, you can lift her up into the trot for me a little bit there. Kind of look ahead, so you kind of look two poles ahead. There you go, that's better. And you can ride that trot, get it to trot out nice and forward. Good. Very nice. You should, you should start to kind of ears pricking, looking for those poles for you. You should start to look at, look on that circle and track where she's starting to go. So you're just getting, having a look around at all the things flapping, and it's a new environment for her. It's her first day with us, so she's just getting used to the, to the place as well. The next thing we're going to work on is actually getting them to circle a circle over the logs here just at the walk okay something I like this for a number of different reasons it's really good for my horses and these logs are you know these are telegraph poles they're probably four inches something like that 
is if you watch when my horse goes over, he has to really pick his feet up. You know, he's got to use those muscles to really lift those legs up, pick that foot up. So he's not dragging his feet along. He's kind of, you know, learning to pick those feet up with a bit of cadence. Also, if you watch him, he's kind of looking at these logs. You know, he's, you know, his focus is on the log there. I can even just kind of put my hand down on his neck there and, and really not still. I see if I can even maybe drape it over here like this. And he's really finding those logs. He's kind of making them. And he's looking for, to kind of do this exercise, if you see what I mean. He's kind of engaged in it. The final part of this is the, is the three meter circle in the center here. Now I was riding with a guy last week and he talked about making a train track circle. Uh, so when you get on that circle, you feel like your horse is on a set of tracks. He's just staying nice and forwards and nice and even and he's moving forwards on that circle. Well, again, you know, I've got that track here to kind of fall in. See how he's kind of falling to the inside, trying to pull to the outside there? Just doing a little bit of my inside leg, trying to keep him rounder, trying to keep him forwards. Trying to keep him working around. That's a little nice today. He wants to leave. Every time he wants to leave, I'm just going to draw my left hand back towards the center of that spindle here. Kind of looking just ahead here where I want him to go. Try and keep him nice and forwards. I want to feel like he starts to kind of fall in a little bit there. Well, that was great, Rachel. Thank you very much for helping us out with that today. And um, you know, that seemed to work pretty well. Did you use that as an exercise you you kind of got some benefit from? Oh, definitely. I can work at that at home, and uh, I will have it perfected next time I see you. <laughs> well, there you go. And I think that's the great thing about it as an exercise. It is something that you know is inexpensive to build. You know, you don't necessarily need to use telegraph poles. You could use show jumping poles. You don't necessarily need to have a spindle like that. And you know, you could put a a barrel in the in the middle of the uh, circle and and you know whatever space you had you could adjust the size accordingly i mean my poles are set out 20 meters to make a nice 20 meter circle um but you could you could do whatever size you want and i think again it's just uh, using these obstacles it just is a great way for your horse to get some accuracy it's a great way for you to be particular about where you're going and you know improves your horse's circles at the same time well, thank you very much anyway, Rachel, and thank you very much for watching. We hope that that was useful, and um, we look forward to, you know, welcoming you back at some point in the future. Thank you very much.